Hey YouTube, it's Kanita, and um, today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make banana pudding. I know a lot of you are like, banana pudding, like everybody knows how to make banana pudding. Some of you do, but this is more so for some those of you that want to do something for the holidays, um, but maybe you're not the best cook. Uh, it's the same recipe as what used to be on the Nilla Wafers box. But, I don't know if you noticed, like, if any of you have tried to make it pretty recently. Now they got this tiramisu bowl thing on there. And, um, one of the girls at my job made it for the potluck today. And it was, it was good, but it wasn't as good as the banana pudding that they used to have. So, anyway, I'm going to be making some. One for the potluck we're having tomorrow at my job. As well as my mom's birthday's tomorrow. And, ooh, excuse me. She's not really a big cake person, so I'd said, well, maybe I'll make some banana pudding and remind her of home. So, anyway, just if you want to learn, just uh, watch and see. Okay, bye. Okay, so first things first, you got to get your ingredients. Number one will be our, um, well, I have imitation vanilla flavor, but you, you might prefer real vanilla if you have it. Um, I have some sugar here, flour. Bananas. Recipe calls for five. It says for a little dash of salt. Eggs, which we're going to separate. And of course, the all famous Nella wafers. And over here, I found the recipe online. So, we're, that's what we're going to be following. First things first, those of you who don't have a double boiler, or you possibly do, but don't know where it is, like me, what you can do is you take a skillet, fill it with water, see? and put a pot inside and go ahead and let that start. Then you're going to take half a cup of sugar, third a cup of flour, okay so to strain my eggs um, I don't have an egg strainer, so I just took a kind of spoon strainer my dad has and a cup, balanced it. Make sure not to crack the yolk. And what this will do is it'll strain the egg white from the egg yolk. Okay. Okay, I'm going to scoop the egg yolk back in the egg and try and separate the rest of the white. Good, that worked. And then I'm just going to put the yolk in the double boiler. But, and last but not least, two cups of milk. Now I'm just going to make sure everything blends in together. The directions say to keep doing this for 10 to 12 minutes or until the mixture has started to thicken. I have to do this constantly. What does it say? During this time that you're stirring constantly like I am, take a second to set your oven to 350 so it can preheat. See? 350. Alright. Alright, so it's thick now. So according to the directions, we're going to remove it from heat. And I'm choosing to put it in here because it'll just make it easier to spread. Okay, I still got some more in there, but that's okay. Okay, so this is my casserole dish I'm going to be using. And first things first, what we're going to do 
you spread a little custard over the bottom. So I'm just going to drop a little. Take a spoon or whatever you got and I'm spreading it so you guys can see. Whoop. I just took a little plastic fork and what I'm doing is I'm basically kind of starting a layer of custard. Okay, our preheating's done. Okay, so there's my layer. Now that I've got a layer of custard, we're just going to start making a layer of vanilla wafers. How pretty. We've got a layer of custard and banana. I mean, and a vanilla wafer, I'm just going to put in a layer of bananas too. Okay. Okay. Once again, now I've got a layer of bananas. I'm going to make a layer. Probably try and make it as even as possible of custard. I'm just going to keep repeating this process. I'm just going to make sure everything's covered before I do the next layer. Okay, so now that I've layered my banana pudding, ending with custard, you want to start with custard and end with custard. I'm supposed to take my egg whites and mix a quarter cup of sugar with them. And mix them until they're completely blended. Okay, so now that we have our topping mixed, it says to cut lightly, just spoon it over. And I'm just going to kind of drizzle it over. And I want you to make sure that you, the recipe calls that you make sure everything's spread across evenly, including make sure that you get around your entire edge of your dish. Okay. Okay, so now that I've got my little topping on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the oven, which has been preheated. I'm actually taking this thing out. And I'm going to stick it in there for how long does it say? 15 to 20 minutes, so I'm going to set my timer at 15 to check at it, check on it. Okay? Okay, so the 10 minute timer just went off. Are you kidding me? I have nothing to grab. Oh, there it is. I'm just going to take a towel and pull this on out. Okay. And for now, I'm probably going to let that sit for probably about five or ten minutes before putting it in my refrigerator um, so it'll be nice and yummy for tomorrow yeah okay so this is my banana pudding all baked and everything but what I'm gonna take is some whipped light cream and just cover it Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some Nilla wafers. Okay, so since I didn't have enough Nilla wafers to put all around the edge, I decided to just stick six in there. Um, the whipped cream and the Nilla wafers are most sort of just for presentation. Now I'm just going to stick them in the fridge and it will be nice and ready for tomorrow for my potluck. And I've also got my mom's in uh, the oven right now finishing.